welcome to another tutorial. This is going to be a multi-part tutorial. I want to show you how to get a model of your character into your videos. First, I'll show you how to download and configure WoW Model Viewer. Then, I'll import my character from Battle.net. Next, I'll show you how to capture your character using Fraps. Then, I'll show you how to import and edit that video in Adobe After Effects. Finally, how to export that footage in high definition video so that you can upload your video to YouTube or share your videos with others over the internet. Alright, go to Google and search for WoW Model Viewer. Download and install the newest version of WoW Model Viewer. Open the program. The first thing you want to do is go to character and import armory character. Import your character from battle.net and your character should appear. Basically the model viewer has every character animation. Alternatively you can select a gear from an item set, select character, load item set and you can scroll through the item sets and select the one you want. I selected the newest tier but a few items are missing. To customize your character and gear click on the item you want to customize and scroll through the gear items. You can use maxdps.com or other websites to reference best in slot items. Here I just saved my character so I can reload my character later. Let's customize the background for recording. So I go to view and select background color. You can see I select different colors, you know, purple or green for a green screen. The problem is the character has a lot of these colors on his gear. Uh, so that makes keying really difficult. For this example, I'm just gonna select black. Okay, now we're ready to capture video using fraps. Uh, open up fraps in the background and uh, basically just start recording. Let's open up the file to see how the recording went. Looks fine. Okay, I skipped a couple of things. You can play around with WoW Model Viewer and uh, customize your character the way you like. There's lots of features. Give it a try. All right, let's import the character into your favorite video editor. In this example, I'm going to use Adobe After Effects. For this tutorial, I want to put my animation in a loop. So my character is just turning in a circle. And to do that, I want to find similar features at the start of the loop and at the end of the loop. So basically, I truncate the video to the start of the loop on one side and then truncate the other side to the end of the loop. Here, I'm going to duplicate the layer and stack them. There should be a seamless transition between the end of the first video and the start of the next. Okay, there's probably a better way to loop this, but uh, here I just stack these to achieve a continuous loop. Here I'm going to export what I have so far into an internet-friendly format. H.264 and you can use these settings for 720 or you can bump them up a little bit. You may need to increase these settings for uh, 1080 and render it out. Okay, in the last part, I'm gonna show you a finished example that contains some advanced effects. So as the character turns, you can see the mask goes up and down. It makes it look like the character is getting scanned or, uh, or flashed. and I put a couple of uh, heads-up displays on the character to give more of a scanning effect. Uh, I added some text effects as well. Here's an effect I really like, uh, sound keys. So basically you can 
you can change the speed of the video based on any sound. I wanted to vary how fast he was spinning. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please subscribe to the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments.